this game is all about moral choices. It has incredible branching story as well. It is up to us to decide whether we want to save the people or kill them in various ways. We might throw them down infinite holes, rush them, shred them, or we can even send killbots to take care of them. And I think that's it. That's all the weapons and means of destruction we currently have on our hands. So obviously this is a coding game. Now let's take a look at our first shredding memory. This is a trip down the nostalgia line. Remember when we shredded our first data cube together? Not much, but I sure remember shredding our first human. Of course you don't. Exactly. Each of the people can now remember four things. That's incredible. Wow, this game has taken a huge turn. We've unlocked memory. We seem to be able to use four memories and as far as I can tell, just from looking at this, a memory is basically a variable we can assign a value to. So mem1, the first memory out of four we can use, equals nearest data cube. It finds the nearest thing of a particular type and stores it in one of our memory slots. That's interesting. So. Does it mean we can simply tell them pick up the nearest data cube? Well, let's see, let's run the code. Yes, it does. That's awesome. And it's also a little weird, because technically, when the code starts, the nearest cube to this lady is this one, 84 or maybe 74. 74 might be closer, but she picks up 28, was it? Yeah, yeah, see the path she's taking there? It seems that the nearest command keeps updating and it always changes based on what data cubes are available. That's awesome. Uh, I would say, let's say memory2 equals the nearest shredder, because that's all we're gonna need, and say pick up whatever data cube available, and then can we just say give to memory2, meaning give it to a shredder and do this for eternity? Let's see. And yes, it works. They're just going for the data cubes and shredding them as they see fit. That's awesome. Well, uh, first impression is that this game suddenly has gotten a lot easier. And I'm not sure if you noticed at the end, but they kinda all died. <laughs> Which is maybe why it took us so long. It took us a few seconds more than it should have to complete this optional speed challenge. I'm gonna run it again just to see what happens at the end, alright? And there is a lot of cloggage when the people are queuing basically for the shredder. And now we're almost at the end. Yeah, these are waiting, nothing to pick up, so they give to the Shredder anyway. I think we might want to put an if statement there, so that when they don't have anything to pick up, they don't. And they don't shred themselves, because it takes time. However, I believe that the if statement itself also takes some time. But I would say maybe just if you are holding a data cube, only then give two. Yes, that's probably it. That should optimize things, maybe a little. Well, we'll see. Let's just run it again. Luckily, it still seems to be working. That's the first thing, the hardest part of this. And it seems to be fast. And this, uh, this nugget is blocking the shredder. Are you stupid? Oh, right, so she gives it to the Shredder and then... Ah, uh, that's too bad. So you should always pick up a data cube. And now, in case you happen to have the data cube, you give it to the Shredder. But if you don't have a data cube, meaning you've failed to pick up one, which means that there are no cubes left, you should end your program. And when you do that, I believe that the other people should be able to move you out of the way. Let's try running that again. First of all, 
all seems to be working and we're only interested at the end where we want to see what happens so nothing to pick up ends the code exactly and they get moved by the other people that's great now what about the time yes we've done it so that's exactly the time we needed we went over with the size challenge but that doesn't matter because overall we've completed them both and this seems to be a new path we're taking with the memories so let's take a look at the fitness program today we are going to learn the aerobic exercise with alice betty and carol and pablo hey One, two, three, two. So that was interesting, <laughs> in case you didn't catch that, at the end I believe they went for a f and I think there's time for us to look into neural pathways. Now we just need to take those data cubes and shred them. And supposedly the workers should be able to find their way through this maze on their own. So let's try it. Everyone, memorize your nearest data cube and your nearest shredder into memory tube. Now go and pick up a data cube and give it to a shredder and that's it. One data cube per person, it should be all fine. Let's speed this up and wow, surprise, wow, they can even go past each other. Well that's brilliant, ah that's insane, that's genius. So many opportunities, so many possibilities. Oh, we're invincible now. This game has truly taken a turn for the better.